This is a Rolls-Royce Trent 900 engine and it's one of the biggest turbofan engines ever put on a passenger aircraft. And I'm going to take you inside this machine and show you how a modern gas turbine engine works. Because when you break it down properly, this engine follows the same principles. Suck, squeeze, bang and blow. So the first thing you need to know is this engine is actually three engines sharing one body. The low pressure system, intermediate pressure system and high pressure system. Each system has a compressor at the front and a turbine at the back and they are connected by independent shafts. This is the fan shaft and you got two more shafts inside. So in order to understand it better, let's follow a single molecule of air within the gas turbine engine. Hello there. So I just realized 87.1% of you who watch my videos haven't subscribed to this channel. And if I need to improve on something, please do let me know so I can get the 87.1% of you to subscribe to my channel as well. It would mean a lot. Um, I am currently an aeronautical engineer and ex-aircraft engineer helping students to build up their aviation career. And also you must be wondering what this is. So basically this is a model of a Trent 900 engine and I had a lot of fun building this up. I built it up from the scratch and it was a fun uh, project as well. So if you fancy having one of these on your study table just to motivate you, I've left the links in the description so you can buy your own. And if you buy it through the discount code, it will give me a small commission and it will help me build this brand. So let's get to the video. Step one, first the air molecule hits the fan and it gets accelerated behind. Now most of the air does not go through the core of the gas turbine engine, it goes around the gas turbine engine. We call this cold stream or bypass air. Now this is where most of the trust is created. Why? We use a principle of physics called momentum here. So what is momentum? Momentum equals mass into velocity. In this case, air mass into velocity. And this combination pushes the air at a tremendously high speed. So smaller portion of air goes through the core of the engine where it meets with the LP compressor, which is the low pressure compressor. It squeezes the air and then it moves to the intermediate compressor and it goes to the high pressure compressor. It squeezes it even more. And when you squeeze this air, the pressure increases because it is tied up together as well as the temperature increases. The more you compress the air, the bigger the explosion, which is the next stage. Now, once this air is squeezed, it goes into the combustion chamber. And once it goes into the combustion chamber, it is sprayed with fuel and a spark is created through the igniters. And this compressed air now explodes with a tremendous amount of energy and heat. And this air within the combustion chamber with a massive amount of energy and heat will push backwards and now this energy is transferred which means this air now goes and hits the turbine sections now turbines there are three sections high pressure turbine intermediate pressure turbine and low pressure turbine once this air transfers that energy into the turbine when i say transfers it goes and push the turbine making it rotate at a higher velocity and this high pressure turbine will rotate the high pressure compressor and this low pressure turbine will rotate the low pressure compressor together with the fan system. Now you see the engine is actually working through air. 
air is sucked through the fan. Now bigger portion of the air goes around the core, we call this bypass air, and which uses momentum to push the air at a tremendous velocity. And around 20% of the air goes through the core, passing through a system of compressors where the air gets squeezed and then it gets introduced to the combustion chamber where it is mixed with fuel and ignited. Now this air explodes with massive energy and it is pushed towards the turbines and this energy is transferred to the turbine making them rotate at very high velocities and these turbines rotate the compressor plus the fan system and the remaining air propels through the exhaust mixed with the cold stream air and goes out of the engine at a tremendous velocity and this action will give an equal and opposite reaction by making the aircraft moves forward. Now you must be wondering these shaft must be rotating at a very high speed you are right and it is born to create heat and how are they making sure the heat stays minimum and also it keeps on rotating. Now every rotating shaft sits through bearings. Now these bearings are sit inside an oil fed chamber. There are different lines that feeds oil into this bearing so they stay lubricated and they stay cool. They do not produce heat and without the oil system this engine wouldn't stand a second. So we consider this the heart of the engine. Now oil system is the heart. Now let's talk about the brain of the engine, the FedEx system. Now it decides how much fuel to add, how much air to send, how fast each shaft should rotate, how to protect the engine from unsafe conditions, how to recover from surges or stalls. Now everything is automatic. The aircraft FedEx system does the thinking without the pilot intervention. That's what it's there for, to help the pilot. Now, what do you say like modern engines are more efficient than what it used to be? That is because the bypass area. Oh, there is huge fans sucking in huge mass of air and sending through what is called the bypass, which I showed you. Now, because the bypass creates more trust, there's less fuel consumption because only 20% of the air goes through the core, around 80% goes through the bypass, which is creating more trust. Now, that is why it is used on one of the biggest aircrafts in the world, the A380. I hope you enjoyed the video. Here at Aero Launch, we help students to launch their aviation career and also professionals to find their dream job. So if you want to become an aircraft maintenance engineer, aerospace engineer, or even an airline pilot, we got you covered. We are partnered with the best schools in the aviation industry and we have partnered with airlines to help you find jobs. So don't forget to subscribe, join what I'm doing here. Let's spread the message. I'll come back with another video. Until then, keep fixing.